G'day friends and welcome back to Dante's Domain. It is time for a collection video and today we're going to take a look at series number two in the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. We're going to dive on in to Union Force. Now Union Force is a pretty awesome set because it is the first one with a secret rare and it is also the first one to feature Barbody, the first man to use Manscaped and not for his balls but actually for his shockingly ball-like head. Now, we'll come down into the Relentless Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku, which is awesome. Some great Super Saiyan 3 character cards in the card game. And this is where we got started. Now you can see here, the Miraculous Comeback Ultimate Gohan Super Rare. This is like probably my favorite Super Rare card. I know it is a little bit vanilla, but that is the beauty of it. It just literally captures Gohan being the badass that he is and charging headfirst into the battle. Now, fully trained Gohan, Goten, and then the Margin Vegeta Evil Dark Prince there, which is very cool. Now, the thing with Union Force as well, had a very nice dynamic of sagas that it took a look at. So you can see here, the red cards are gonna focus on the Barbity and the Margin Boo Saga. We have some Margin Vegetas, this really cool, super rare, repeated Force Vegito. And when we get to the back of the binder, where the spice is gonna be contained, we'll take a look at the special rare version of that, which just looks sensational. Then we come down into Vegito, everyone's favorite fusions, Vegito, and then the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks as well. Literally everybody growing up with Dragon Ball could, re could relate to Gotenks. And speaking of people you can relate to, Mr. Satan, Hercule Boo's assistant, just gotta love it. Especially Videl, 14 year old Dante was so happy to see this Videl card. 14 year old Dante, yeah, was very, very, very content to get a copy of that card. Then we come up to see Supreme Kai and Kabuto Kai. And been rewatching the Boo Saga with my partner recently, actually, and we just found it so funny how actually useless the Supreme Kai is, especially for someone who's meant to have such a big influence on existence and everything. He's got a lot of responsibility and he just does such a mediocre job. And now the Super Rare here, the Grand Evil Absorption March and Boo, Really, really awesome Super Rare as well. And it was actually Union Force and Cross Worlds at the time that drew me into the Dragon Ball Super card game. So I wasn't around in the card game when Galactic Battle came out. I never saw it or got it in stores. But at the time at my local store, you could get like some Union Force packs and then some Cross Worlds. Oh, gotta give Jiren a bit of love as well. Jiren Fist of Justice. Yeah, so you could get both of those. And it was those two together that really drew me into it. So it was all of these kind of cool cards, cool artworks, throwbacks to great moments like your Super Ghost Kamikaze attack there, which was really cool to see. Now the blue cards in this set focus on the Future Trunks arc and the Goku Black arc as well. Well, the same thing, I can't remember. I think it's called the Future Trunks arc in Dragon Ball Super. With Goku Black, with Zamasu, and with all of that good stuff. So we come across, I remember loving that Raging Spirit Sun Gohan when I created my just awful decks when I started playing. And those are probably still my current decks as well. I haven't updated them in so long. And they are garbage. They were garbage then, and I cannot imagine how garbage they are now. So come across the Unyielding Spirit Trunks. Poor little Trunks there. Copped the band hammer a little while back. Bulma next, and then we will flip on over to see Beerus looking like the badass that he always is. Whis, Secret Guard, and then Pilaf. Gotta love some Pilaf. And the best part of the Dragon Ball Super card game is going to be your vanilla common shoe cards because everybody loves shoe, especially when he is a vanilla little boy like that. Yachirobi with the beard as well. Like, Yachirobi is such an attractive man, but to walk around with a beard like that, literally, he's gonna have to get a restraining order on me, I reckon. Then we come across and we've got the really cool Goku Black Rose. Super rare card as well. And then we'll come up to a few more Goku Black and Zamasu cards up the top here. So with this binder, I've just got them in the chronological order. So based on card number, go through the red, the blue, the green, the yellow cards, 
and then have the spicy stuff at the back of it. And then we've got this Golden Freezer Super Rare as well, which I thought was really cool. That was worth like about eight cents or something. They, they were literally like everywhere at the time. But nonetheless, you've got in my good artwork and that was some good artwork. Then Mafuba and Time Ring, followed by Chunks' Time Machine and then the Zeno button there. Next, the green cards focused on the Cell and the Android Sagas. So you've got this Cell Leader card, you've got the Father, Son, Kamehameha, and then you come down into the Diabolical Duo, 17 and 18 there. So some really cool leaders to kick things off. And then we come across to another beautiful Super Air card. You've got the Piercing Super Saiyan 2 Son Goku because Son Goku, Son Gohan, how can I confuse the name of like my favorite character? So some awesome Gohan cards there, which once again, a factor that helped draw me into the card game. And I loved like the Saiyan armor on all of the Saiyans in the Cell Circle, like even Goku and Gohan when they train. But I think Trunks just looks like an absolute badass wearing it. Great look, great saga as well was the old Cell Saga. And then literally the best moment of Krillin's life and every like, every young lad growing up like me was so jealous of Krillin there. We all like shaved our heads in the schoolyard so that we'd have a chance of Android 18 coming up and giving us the old kiss on the cheek. Yamcha and then Tien. This is the best card of all time, actually. They need to make a secret rare card of the Tien Shin Han. Just try beaming Cell into oblivion. Poor Cell, he was literally stuck in that hole for about 16 episodes. I can't wait to make my partner sit through that, actually. We started with the Boo Saga because I was like watching the old Saiyan Man arc and she sat down next to me and we started watching it and she actually got hooked, so I was super excited. But yeah, we're gonna sit through the 16 episodes of Cell getting tri-beamed into oblivion next. So some more androids and then the random Kale appearance, which is awesome. So the Hidden Awakening Kale, really cool looking super rare card though, not gonna lie, even if it's just randomly thrown in to the Cell saga there. Then we come across to some more Gohan action, the Father Son Kamehameha, and then Cell's Birth, because obviously, the best thing to put on a piece of cardboard is birth, is somebody being born. So we've got Cooler and the Freezer Clan for the yellow cards here. So there's Chilled Lead card as well. A lot of Freezer and King Cold action and love going on. And then you come across to a really nice looking Super Air card, which is the Meta Cooler Core. Another card, which we've got to keep an eye out for when we get to the special rares in a little bit. So look at all of this cool action going on here. And then we come down to some chilled, we come down to a few Robocops next, the Usher of Death on the right there. And then we get into all of the henchmen. And I'm not gonna lie, I've got no idea who all of those guys are. And I do not care for who all of those guys are, except for Uncle Toby. Like, Uncle Toby is one of the best cereals that you can have. That has the heart tick of approval. So we'll give Toby a pass there. And we'll get into the last few cards before you know what time it is. It is time for us to take a look at the spicy stuff. So let's flip down this page and we'll get started with what is still, even like 14 sets in, one of my favorite special rare cards is this Repeated Force Vegeta. I think it looks just beautiful. Once again, a little bit more on the simple side for compared to some of the special rares they've done recently at least, but beautiful use of gold. The sky in the background looks amazing. Super Saiyan Vegeta was just like so awesome, like that ultimate fighting candy. Like I'm glad they decided to put Vegeta and not just the candy on the card, even though I would be okay with an ultimate fighting candy special rare card as well. Then we come across the Fuse the Masu next, which is really nice looking special rare. Not one of my favorites, like Zamasu, I enjoyed or well, I enjoyed the Future Trunks arc as much as it could be enjoyed. Had so much potential, there was some awesome highs and then there was just some really, really weird and confusing things. And I liked Goku Black, but Zamasu wasn't the most interesting to me. 
Perfect for sell, however, this is just an awesome special rare, and I'm hoping that we see more sell special rares coming up because this is a little teaser taster of hopefully what is a lot of good stuff to come with him. Now, we'll get into what is literally the most gold card you'll ever see. Not just in the Dragon Ball Super Card game, but just like in general. Like it's literally, they raided like a gold mine or something and just went ham. They just poured it all onto that cardboard. And then we got the cool core there. And then, and then guys, you've been waiting for it. We come and take a look at, the camera can't even handle the awesomeness. We take a look at the first ever secret rare card in the Dragon Ball Super Card game. We've got the SS Blue Vegito. So this card looks amazing. Just a beautiful card, beautiful design. Awesome to see like them choose the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito as the first secret rare. I think it's a very fitting choice when you consider like, this is meant to be a rare chase card and Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is a great choice for that as well. Awesome artwork, but this just, so many people are drawn to this card because it was the first one, it kicked things off, and it was, yeah, it literally has everything that you could hope for in a secret rare. But yeah, that is a little bit of a look through series number two, Union Force from the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. I hope you had fun checking this out. I hope you thought or found it interesting rather. And I cannot wait to show you guys the rest of the Dragon Ball sets. We'll have more videos coming up more openings and more cardboard content coming your way. Other than that, take care and I hope to catch you guys here next time at Dante's Domain. Farewell.